Another 3D printed meat alternative is making headlines. Only this time the product doesn't look like pink slime. Here's what you need to know. An Israeli company claims to have invented the world's first realistic 3D printed steak made from non-meat products, according to information provided by the company to Reuters and the media line. Redefined Meats Alt Steak is made out of a combination of soy and pea proteins, coconut fat, and sunflower oil, along with natural colors and flavors. On its website, the company says its products have 95% smaller environmental impact, no cholesterol, and are more affordable compared to animal meat. The company, which is based near Tel Aviv, says it worked with butchers and other experts to digitally map more than 70 sensorial parameters, including the cut's texture, juiciness, fat distribution, and mouthfeel. Instead of printing a single minced meat, the company's 3D food printer uses separate formulations for the fat, muscle, and blood to mimic the flavor, texture, and appearance of real steak. Separate plant-based formulas dubbed Alt Muscle, Alt Fat, and Alt Blood are printed layer by layer. The company says each of these machines can produce 250 kilograms of the product in a single day. This is the world's first 3D printed steak that can really pass the test of what is a steak. Redefine Meat CEO and co-founder Esharp and Shitrit told the media line, We've reached a milestone because we can print steaks on a large scale and the taste and texture are amazing. How does this compare with previous 3D printed meat products? Let's take a look. An Italian bioengineer at a Spanish startup claims to have invented the world's first vegan steak made using 3D printing technology. Giuseppe Schionti from Spanish startup Nova Meat concocted a mixture that includes rice, peas, and seaweed to create a 3D printed patty that mimics the fleshy texture of beef. The ingredients are turned into a paste and mixed with a paella colorant and inserted into syringes. The syringes are inserted into a 3D printer and then printed into a steak-like product. After being printed, the steak can go on to be cooked. In addition to the steak, the company has also developed a vegan chicken breast made from ingredients including lipids, fibers, minerals, and vitamins that mimic the texture of animal meat. Schionti, who founded Nova Meat, told architecture and design magazine Dezine that it takes around 30 minutes to print a 100 gram of steak. In addition to creating an ethical meat alternative, Schionti hopes the vegan steaks will help reduce greenhouse gas emissions from livestock to make our planet more sustainable. Scientists have successfully grown bacon in a laboratory using blades of grass. Let us explain. A team of researchers from the University of Bath have developed bacon fibers using pig stem cells and blades of grass, reports the BBC. First, they take a tissue sample from a pig and extract stem cells from the tissue. Stem cells have the capacity of turning into different kinds of cells, including muscle, fat, or ligaments. After the cells are isolated, they are placed in a container for cultivation. They are then placed on blades of grass where they continue to grow into meat fibers. Millions of muscle, fat, and ligament cells are required to make a single fiber of bacon. This makes it difficult for cultured meat to be produced at a large scale and sold commercially. Lab-grown meat is expensive. Back in 2013, a group of scientists in the Netherlands made the first lab meat burger and it cost over 280,000 US dollars due to the time and effort that was needed to cultivate the cells. Scientists are hoping this new method can be an alternative for the future of lab meat production. According to the BBC, lab-grown meat won't be commercially available for at least five more years. Would you eat a lab-grown burger? Let us know in the comments below. Eating meat is killing our environment, but getting everyone to give it up is kind of like Mission Impossible. This is why alt-meat startups have come up with all kinds of ways to create an alternative source of protein that doesn't involve exploiting the land for farming and livestock. The latest company to join the alt-meat team is Sustainable Bioproducts, and they found their inspiration from volcanic microbes found in Yellowstone National Park. According to Bloomberg, biotech startup Sustainable Bioproducts is trying to replicate behavior from volcanic microbes found in hot springs at Yellowstone National Park to create lab-grown protein. The company has been able to grow protein using fermentation technology. Researchers feed starch and glycerin to the high-protein microbes, which react by multiplying quickly. The resulting protein contains nine key amino acids that are essential for the human diet. The substance can be used to create a meat-like product mixed to make yogurt or shaped into a plant-based burger patty. 
According to Food Dive, the NASA-funded company recently received $33 million in Series A funding. Investors include Microsoft's Bill Gates, Amazon's Jeff Bezos, Bloomberg's Michael Bloomberg, and Virgin Group's Richard Branson. That's great and all, but how does it taste? For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.